Hello everyone. It's uh, Patrick Teacup Ireland, and we're gonna. It's Happy Laurent, basically, is what this video is all about. We're gonna watch a video from Lauren Armstrong's official channel. Uh, it's called Capture 2017-0101. That's what I assume it means. It was go away. You need is. I assume it was um, a video from New Year's Day of 2017. And I don't read. I know what it's about because I played like the first three seconds. It's about his book, but um, for six minutes, I'd imagine there's something else in there. And we're going to be reading the comments, you know, and all that good stuff. And uh, people were asking me if I have plans for Lauren and Lornmas. I'll be just doing my regular streams, and on Lornmas, I might do something special. Who knows? I gotta, I gotta come up with ideas. I'm fucking blanking here. Okay, so enough fucking talking, shit, man. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Um, um, I figured I would make this awful lighting here. <laughs> video. This get a curtain or something. That the lighting's looking terrible. Present my book to everybody. A lot of people know about it. A lot of people don't. So I figured I. Would I hear like a ch -ch 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 repeating sound. Sorry for any headphone users. That must sound awful in the background. Is that the treadmill? It kind of sounds like the th the treadmill from that infamous Roscoe on the treadmill video. Well, my Barry. Present it and read the back of the book to them so that they know. Uh, okay, we're gonna. What all about. We're gonna hear the synopsis of Taking this Abroad. This is my book right here. It's called Taking Abroad. Fucking love that cover. That edgy, like a man sitting in his room alone with the blinds, the shadow of the blinds on his face. Mysterious. I wrote it when I was in but jail because I didn't want any, anything to be bored at all and have nothing to do. So I wanted to, to get. Aaron comes back from war. And turns. Bad. Something accomplished while I was in there and unable to. Turns his thing. genius mind. But I didn't finish the book until. Wrong. Um, after I was out of incarceration, I, I, my mom pushed me to, to finish it because she liked the story. And she's. Did she? She's always been she's like, oh, very good. Yeah. Other books that I've written too, but, or that I've started writing, but I haven't had time to. Um, but I'll inform everybody if, when I do finish that, those books and okay. and which might be a couple years but he never did <laughs> essentially um, preparing for his life after high school Aaron enlisted into the army anxious to serve his country anxious. and fight for what he believed in after losing his closest friend to a sniper Aaron lost it while in the field and spent three months in a psychiatric ward American until being shipped job. home once home he falls in love with Brooke a girl he meets on a blind date not long after getting engaged, he begins having nightmares of his time in the Iraqi war. A blind date? Almost like a chat log, perhaps? Yahoo. But puts it off as nothing serious. When the nightmares become more intense, Brooke talks to Aaron about seeing, seeing a psychiatrist, and because of the deep love that Aaron has for his family, he agrees. Unfortunately, the intense sessions with the psychiatrist don't help, and the nightmares begin to affect Aaron further. <laughs> My therapist, Ellie, she's fucking beautiful. Aaron can no longer fight the right and wrong of the murders he's about to commit. In the end, justice is served with a heartbreaking death that Aaron did not plan on. I don't fucking spoil a major character death right in the fucking... It's going to be Brooke, isn't it? 25% um, uh, of the net profit from this book goes to Wounded Warrior Project. The Wounded Warrior Project, St. George. Like a lot has been said about the book being kind of like a self-insert kind of fan fiction thing. You know, because Lauren went to the Air Force. Oh, now he got kicked out. He didn't, he didn't see any action or anything like that. But uh, he got kicked out, and he's kind of, and, he, and then from what I've been, I've never read the book, but from what I've been told, what happens is like the guy goes to Iraq. You know, friend gets killed, blah blah blah. Comes back, uh, has PTSD. But he, but but in between that, he gets like married. Like he marries like this girl Brooke like nearly straight away, and they live with the mom and all this. You know, just like fucking textbook. Like, this is, like, what Lorne wants. Fucking hell, Mac. Stop giving me fucking shite, man. Okay. Yeah. So, basically, it's very, very obviously, like, self-insert in, self fan fiction. Stupid to do that. And for those to make fun of me when I hesitate when I talk, you don't like it, don't listen to it. Good and you. And 25% of the net profit from this book goes to uh, the fire department in the town that I live in. Um, 
once, once again, the name of the book is called Taking Abroad. Um, Taking also, Abroad. I've, I've had a lot of people asking me about um, my music and if I was going to sell my music and Please no. uh, do more recordings. Please of, no more music. I'm, I'm trying to be able to find the time to to sit down and write songs. Sometimes while I'm driving my truck at work, I'll sit down or I'll... Um, I'll be thinking of things while I'm taking a record them on my cell phone and and but the thing is finding time when I get home to or on the weekends to to write it all down and to make music to it. it just, I just don't have a lot of time right now to do all that. But I'm trying. I'm too busy talking to Ramon on the fucking phone for eight hours. Find time to squeeze it all in. I used to have all your time. Um, but I, but. I will be. I do have three songs that are done right now, and God, I wish want, I, I wish he would have record recorded those. DVD and I will sell them. And record them on DVD. DVD. Um, music video. I'll, I'll sell the three songs for five. Roy, help me film a music video, DVD, baby. And but you'll have to include an extra five dollars for me to to mail the DVD out to you. Okay, yeah, shipping. Fair enough. Um. Also, uh, the way that I want to do it is so that this way it doesn't get confusing and nobody winds up not getting mm -hmm. what they pay for. Um, it's, uh, to, make, to make it out in a money order and send it directly to my address because I'm not real uh, knowledgeable on the computer and except PayPal. PayPal and all that stuff. You yet. don't know. So, until I. Gain some you take up the for pay on how to work the stuff. Yeah, you don't that's talk. the only way that I'm going to be able to do it. Money or not. Um, for those of you that do purchase my book and you want me to autograph it, you can just send me a uh, copy of the book and I'll autograph it and send it back to you. But you have to have the return at uh, postage on it. Um, Is the autograph free or <laughs> do I pay extra for that? Um, also, the place um, the place that you can buy my book, you can buy it right on ondemandbooks.com. Um, ondemandbooks.com. You can also buy them at any books store million. that that has an espresso book machine. They'll have it right in the system. They can do it right there. There's a bunch of them around the world. Barnes and Noble has a lot of them. Books a Million has them. Around um, the world. More, uh, some I've never books seen them. Million stores have them. Not all. And not all Barnes granted, has them granted, I don't go to, to many bookstores, store, and we don't have Barnes and Noble in Ireland. You are, but um, you even in the bookstores I have been into, Armstrong, I don't think I've ever seen that. They'll be able to search and find the book, and if they don't have it in that store, then they'll call. The I get the concept. I've never book seen machine, it. and you'll be able to get it from there, or the, they'll actually print out the book, and then they'll send it to that store and, or to your address. Um, and I, I guess that's all for now. I'm probably forgetting something, but, but I guess that's all for now. And I will make another video. And I and, want that uh, Chevy trucks hat so fucking bad. <laughs> when I get some more songs, it's iconic. Done or when I, it's almost as iconic as the end. Um, and boss inform man. everybody of that. And I'm, I'm actually looking for a place to be able to record. My music and my recording studio professionally use the shed. And, uh, put it out online. Get Roy um, um these these a set up in the shed. Songs here will, will be on the first DVD that I that I do put out or the first CD that I do put out. Um, and I I guess that's all for now. I thank you very much and I I appreciate everybody and and I, I'm really happy that Aww. people like my music. It, you appreciate really me, Lauren. Like me. Thank you very much. You like my streams, buddy? I like how he's sitting up like completely straight. He's like, good you? Okay, so that's the end of Capture 2017's 0101. Catchy name, by the way, I must say. 6,000 views, not bad at all. Okay, and the description says, To make it easy for people to not have to look up my address, it's 19 Ariana Sway Canaan, Maine. 04924. He doesn't live there anymore. He lives in um, West, West Ridge Road. So, that is. I mean, that's, doesn't matter anymore. 
50% of this profit, or my profit, will be paid to the to Betty until she's paid off. I thought money was go of the was going to, so it was money of the profits going to the to uh, wounded warrior and Betty. Oh, okay. You never sat in the. I guess that's the thing you forgot to say. Okay, let's have a look at these fucking. Let's deep dive into these comments now. Hopefully, we won't, I don't think we'll do them all, but we'll um, we'll do the ones that kind of uh, you know how it says like Lauren Armstrong replied. So we'll do that. Uh, write a book. No tales. Says write a book about going to meet a precious princess. And Lauren says, "How about I write a book about all the stupid things people say on the computer?" Laugh out loud. And that was it. People are responding. Oh, like Scarlet Envy. Some uh, familiar faces. And that's that. Um, how long did it take you to write that book? About fifteen minutes. Lauren says, "Hmm." Anyone else besides me feel something, smell something funky? Oh wait, it's just Nick Bruns. LOL. Hey. Sick burn. I don't think Nick has ever recovered from that. Three years, he hasn't been seen since. I wondered why the smell didn't go away one spray of deodorizer. Deodorizer? Did, is that a thing? Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm blanking. I thought you meant de deodorant, right? Then I see Dart was here too, Dart Armstrong, and had to get out another extra can, can of extra strength deodorizer. Oh yeah, deodorizer, yeah, of course. Um, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Mira Vale says, Do you go to any chat rooms, Lauren? I would love to talk to you. <laughs> She's got blonde hair. You write me an email, Katie, and I'll respond to you. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if that ever came, out, came to anything. Clobbering Time says, Glad to see you're giving me half to Betty. Hope you sell a lot. It's my boy right there, Clobbering Time. Familiar face to everybody. For anyone that ever thought I didn't want to pay it back, they should just hell tight until they heard from me talking my, for myself, Clobbering Time. And thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. Cold Water Hunter says, Did you ever get to mow, lawn, mow lawns when you were incarcerated at Fort Dix? I trained troops there that were deploying about the same time you were at the correctional facility. I remember a, I remember one dude in an orange jumpsuit on a John Deere mower trying to bum a smoke off me. And I don't even smoke. For the record, he only had two teeth, so I doubt it was you. Oh, okay. Um, here's one from uh, Jenna Fuchs. Uh, thanks for telling me how to how a bookstore works. There are so few these days. My pleasure, Jenna. <laughs> oh my god, the sarcasm. Take it, a child. Okay, here's Milky Joe. Right, there is a guy on here who reads your chat line, in chapters, and has kept me entertained for hours at work. I thanked him, so I'd like to thank you as well as yours, Lee. Also, you're a weird, strange, and fascinating little guy. I don't think I could show my face after knowing all those weird, insecure, immature, and sad shit I'd said to what I thought was a kid. Was out there for eternity. I wouldn't have anyway, but let's pretend. You got balls, son. I've seen them, by the way. <laughs> Irish Flame. That's why one of, one of us. I can't wait to read your book. And Lauren's a run. Thank you, Irish. And any more? Cool. Ah, here's some more from Lauren. Alexis Anderson says, really? You're trying to profit off wounded vets now? Lauren, I didn't have to donate to anything at all. I wanted to. Uh, here's Dr. Rabbit, his vet who's upset by um, Lauren's uh, Wounded Warrior project. Uh, Alex Andres says, hey Lauren, I'm surprising, as surprising as this sounds, you have a lot of fans here in Iraq. Believe me, I'm not kidding. <laughs> How does Lauren have to say to that? Wow, you're right, that is surprising. And here's more Lauren. Councilman Viacom says, This is why sex offenders should not be allowed a computer to snore. And Lauren replies, hey, Why, jackass? Because you're jealous and want all the attention. I give it to you for free, but the problem is the people wouldn't want to hear from you because you care about you. I care about people. I want them to know that. I better stop there because idiots like you piss me off. Uh, Lauren and Savior, Scarlet Emmy, wrote us shoot Tootsie, I'll reply in there. Familiar faces. Jensen says, Hi Lauren, will this be available in Australia? I'm a huge fan. 
Uh, Lawrence says, yes, it will, Mila. You can file EBM sh machines all over the world. If you buy a physical copy and send it to me with a return poster, I will sign it and send it back to you, Jimmy. Wow. Okay. Al Jennings says, hi, Lauren. I'm waiting until the payday to buy your book. <laughs> I'll try to get hold of it over here in the UK. I like your hair. Where can I get one of those? Thanks. Thank you, Al. You can probably go to an Autopod store and get one at a Chevy car dealership. Uh... I don't think they'd have um, Chevy hats in a UK auto parts store. I don't know if there's any Chevy dealerships in the UK. There isn't in Ireland anyway. There was for a while, but they were quickly phased out. You know, because they're not very popular over here. The German cars and the Japanese cars are way more. Or the European, I suppose, because French. It's French cars as well. Yohel Arias says, how many times are you in jail? I was in jail itself for 18 months. Incarcerated. I was incarcerated for the whole five years. It's amazing what NBC's money can buy was thrown in the right hands. Wow, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ziola Blue Staley says, Lauren, we all love you. Especially me. Wink. Keep thinking positively. I look forward to more of your music. Thank you, Wizama. Uh, J Jamie Smithlington says, All the best, Lauren. You seem a bit unhappy, slash depressed. Maybe it's just my mind. I wish you every success in the future, and Lauren replies, Not ha unhappy or depressed, just tired and have a full mind because of being so busy. Thank you for the good wishes. Thank you, Allah. <laughs> the problem, Larry, is that you probably are talking about your own pathetic mishaps, you freak. Toby Royson says, wishing you luck with the book. And Lord says, thank you, Toby. Now, this is an interesting one. Lauren, you've still, you're still trying to go about this without having to do any work work. You've obviously, you obviously enjoy writing, and that's great. But that's not the venue through which people correct their wrongdoings. Another problem is that by doing this, you're benefiting yourself, not just Betty or the burn victims or whatever. Now, I'm sure you just think, didn't think that part true. But nonetheless, it's inappropriate. Pay Betty back the right way, fix up her house, mow her lawn, or something like that. Promote your book and donate to charity on your own time, in your own corner. And Lauren fires back with, Listen, I've done work work since I was nine years old. I grew up working in the woods, throwing four foot wood up to the age of 20. Don't pretend like you know my life and like I, and what, like, with what I like to do and don't like to do. But crap is irritating. That crap is irritating. If you want to know it, to get to know me, then pay attention now. Not what I was then. I told Betty I would try to get out there to, in spring to do some more things for her. I have a 76 year old mom that I have to turn to. Also, plus my own crap. Plus I work 60 to 70 hours a week and still try to find time to get on here because I care about people. What people think about me and for some screwed up reason still want to make people happy which I have no, absolutely no reason to. Plus I have to give attention to my dogs and spend time with two friends. I assume that's Tony and Wendy or Tony and Alton, and work f and work some for my uncle. So, if you can find any extra time in there, then you have you can give me a hint where it is. Otherwise, I appreciate it if all you know it all is. But stop thinking that you so know so much. P.S. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Just tired of all the know it all crap. <laughs> he was fucking. He fucking fired back. That guy. Holy shit. Gimme, 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 coco puff. Asked him if he would do an autograph, and he said, yeah, possibly. He never did. <laughs> OMG, Lauren, I love you. Thank you, Natalie. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm looking for more interesting replies. Yeah, Wonder Warrior Project, we get it. <laughs> Lauren's not uh, revealing his political leanings. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it there. So that was Capture 2017 0101. And a happy launch.